what's up family it is your big sis t renee and i am back today with another story time as you can see i am in my work truck and of course i'm on a little break i have some free time so why not give y'all a story time i'm gonna try to make this quick but i just wanted to you know give y'all story time about savage of course um i'm currently doing a series on savage and I don't want to deviate too far from doing the series on him by giving y'all other story times. But of course, when something comes about, I change it up. Y'all, but before we get into this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment to let me know that you're here. Hey girl, hey. Leave a star, a fish, a bird, a dog, a cat, or something. Um, it is greatly appreciated when you engage with my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. Even if you just somebody that views my channel but have yet to subscribe, again, I hope that one day you find something that makes you want to subscribe, something that resonates with you will bring you back to my channel. And if you are new, hey, welcome. Thank you for tuning in with me. So let's get into the video. Of course, like I said, this story time is about Savage and it's also gonna be about this girl that Savage end up hooking up with. So yeah, let's get into this story time. We're gonna give this this next story, this girl a name. We're gonna call her, um, we're gonna call her Randy. Yeah, we're gonna call her Randy. So, um, this took place, I think this actually happened, okay, we're gonna, okay, so, one evening, I was over to Savage and his cousin's house, and they had like a little barbecue over there, and they invited some of their friends and family, or whatever, and so, you know, we just over there kicking or whatever, and so, I was upstairs with one of the cousins, and we were just... I don't know. I don't even remember what we were doing. We probably just up there in our phones having some girls talk or something. But all the guys were like downstairs and some of the other girls that was there. So eventually all the other ladies, they come up there with us and we just doing whatever we doing. And the guys are downstairs. And so some time rolls by and everybody's back in the house and we all just sitting like in their little living room, dining room area. And I notice is that Savage is missing. So I'm asking Savage's cousin that stays with him like, where is Savage? Like, where did he go? He's like, oh, he, he had to go, he had to go handle something for my aunt, uh, for our aunt or whatever. So it was just Savage's mom. And he'll be, he'll be back, he'll be back. I'm like, why did he tell me he was leaving? That, that does make sense. Like, why would he just leave me here and not tell me he's gone? He's like, well, oh, he'll be back, he'll be back. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, you know, he gets back maybe a couple hours later and we kind of have like a little, we wasn't necessarily arguing, but we had like this little back and forth. You know, I'm like, why didn't you just tell me you was gone? And, you know, I wasn't thinking too deep into it. Like he would leave me and go be, do something crazy. But yeah, I was just like, you know, just let me know. I don't want to be left here. Even though I knew his people for some time now, I just did not want to be left at that house without him knowing, without knowing that he was, without me knowing where he was and how long he was going to be gone, you know, because I probably was ready to leave and he how you just going to leave me there. So anyway, that night goes on and you make up whatever. It wasn't necessarily a big argument, but yeah, we, we kind of like had our little worries and let it go. So a few weekends later, they have another little gathering or whatever. And like I said, we kicked it with I'm kicking it with the family and some other some of the other friends or whatever. And again, Savage comes up missing. And I'm like, where the hell is Savage? And like, I don't know, he went to go do something, but he'll be back. I'm like, again, why ain't this man telling me he's leaving? So I'm texting him like, where the hell you at? Like why didn't you tell me you was going to be leaving? Like, where did you go? No response for Savage. So at this point, I'm kind of a little pissed off because I'm like, this just don't seem right because this is the second time you done had me over here and you have disappeared from this house and ain't told me where you at. So, you know, I me, mean, I'm a little heated and I ain't you know, I don't know, I was a little heated and I was like emotional shit. I don't know if I was on my period or something, but I stepped outside and I ain't going to say I was like crying, but I kind of was emotional because I started thinking, okay, some fishy going on because why you got me here and you just disappeared and then the, you got a house full of people where the hell did you go 
Ain't nobody else with you. It's just you. So I'm just standing outside or whatever. And then I'm just sitting in a little chair on the porch. And then I, I just hear some laughter. And I'm like, what the fuck? But it wasn't the people in the house. It was some girl or whatever. And then, you you uh, of course, you guessed it. I hear Savage's voice. I know his laugh out of anywhere. I mean, I know his laugh from anywhere. So I'm like, what the hell? Where is he? So I start to call his phone because, like I said, I can hear the voice, but I don't see the person. I'm like, it's, he actually answers. I'm, Where the hell are you? He's I want him coming around the corner. I said, oh, so that's you. That's, that, I said, so that's you laughing. Who you laughing with? I hear some woman. Oh, oh, it's nobody. No, it's nobody. That's the girl that's still over here. Like, what girl? He was like, oh. oh it's one of the neighbors, you know. She was she was taking her garbage out, and I was just talking to her. I'm saying, like, okay, so where you been? You know, I've been looking for you, and I called you, and you didn't answer. I was texting you, and you didn't reply. He was like, oh, no. I had to go take care of something, but I'm back. Here I am. So he comes and he pops in around the corner. And then again, y'all, it's just still in the back of my mind like, nah. You was on, you was up to something else. You was doing some other shit. You know, but I, I didn't want to like seem like I was being insecure. So I tried to play it cool, but I have always took mental note with him when he done things. And I felt like it was on some sneaky shit. Like I always had great intuition with him. And a lot of times I be so right. I be spot on when I feel away or think something. But again, I know sometimes I can be an overthinker, especially during those times. And so I tried to like, like you know what? No, you just probably reading too much into it. He probably really was taking care of something. Let him be. But again, I just felt like you need to better communicate. I was, and I was saying, I said, but I said, okay, whatever it is you was doing, it, I'm glad you took care of that. If you need to take care of that, I understand it. I said, but you need to communicate with me. Like, you used to communicate so well with me. What is the issue? Why aren't you telling me you leaving? Like, you just leaving me here with your folks. How you know I didn't want to go or I needed to leave? It was fine. My folks got you. You need to do anything. If I was to be gone for a minute, they would have took... I'm like, no, I want you to take me home. Why would I ask one of them? So you have our little spat or whatever. And then at this point, I'm like, you know what? I said, we kind of been bickering a little bit. I do not like this. Whatever it is you need, you doing, you need to fix that shit. Or I'm going to stop coming around here. He's like, oh, uh, no, nah, no. Nah. You ain't got to stop coming around here. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's good. It's nothing. It's nothing. You know, I just did this and then the neighbor stopped me. She was taking her trash out and hey, whatever. So, uh, fast forward to like just the middle of the week. It was one day that I barely talked to him this day. And he's somebody that would text me or call me all throughout the day. And I think I actually went to work for a few hours and he didn't go to work. But he still would call. He would even come up to the job. But this particular day, I barely heard from him. And so I was. I text him. He actually called me or something. Cause I text. Okay, I'm about to get off. What you want me to do? Because we had plans on me coming over there after work, and I was just gonna stay over, stay all night or whatever. Cause I don't think I had to go to work the next day, and it was during the summertime, so of course I had no school. And and this was still like when we was yeah, we were still in high school. Yeah, I, yeah, this had to be our senior year. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about high school times, but this savage y'all. He been in my life for a long time, and this kind of all. All this leading up, is leading up to when I was in college. So, yeah. Um, anyway, like I said, this is doing some whatever. And so, I didn't really hear from him today. And, and so, eventually, I get off. And I'm like, okay, so what's up? What you want to do? He was like, oh, 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 I'm going on home. I need to do something with my mom. and all. Just, just lying, y'all. I'm like, uh, okay, well, you take care of the business with your mom. I understand? Just hit me back a little later. Y'all, he didn't call me back. He texted me the rest of that night. And it wasn't too late because it was still in the middle of the day. Like, I had went to work that morning throughout the week. And I got off. It had to have been probably maybe 3, 4, 3 o'clock or something like that. It was still daylight, still early in the day. Because, like I said, this was only a part-time job. And I don't even think we worked a whole lot. Maybe in the summertime, we might have worked longer hours. But some days, you know, you might have 6. Some days, you might have 8. You know how they go. Especially in fast food and retail you know how that can be like that when you're young but anyway so yeah i didn't hear from him at all that night i tried to be like you know what 
trying to think so much about it. He with his mom. You know, I tried to like trust him. But again, like I said, he was acting real funny. And so it, that was also in the back of my mind. I'm like, on the other hand, he was acting real like spacey. Like he been acting real distant a little bit, you know? So I'm not under, he been acting real distant. He been, he been acting a little distant. So something is up. So the next day comes around. I didn't hear from this man till like probably two or three in the afternoon. I'm like, you ain't even hit me up all day. I was like, whatever the hell it is you doing, you you must want to go back and do that forever and then and, and have me not around. It's like, man. You you blowing stuff out of portion now, nah, man. And he was explaining. He was, y'all, basically he had some fucked up ass excuse as to why I hadn't talked to him. He was oversleep. He was still asleep. He wasn't feeling well. Okay, you have always communicated things to me. Why now you're not communicating things with me? I said, oh, okay. I said, that's cool. Like I said, this the next day is still early in the day, whatever. Like I said, he I heard from him probably like two or three o'clock. I said, you know what? I'm gonna pop up over there. Yes, I was on that type of time. But I my sister's best friend stayed in the same townhouse complex because they stayed in the townhouse and but she stayed like directly like across the street it wasn't a big gap but it was like a, this section on this side of the street and then they stayed in another section so i had went over there with my sister i was like yeah i'm gonna go with you to your her friend's house so i ain't gonna get her no names and so i went over there and then i was like you know okay so we get there so we get over to her friend's house. I said, well, I'm going to go see Savage, you know, because, you know, he's over there. So, you know, I'm going to go hang with them a little bit. If you go and I'm not ready to go, I'll just get them to bring me home. She's like, okay, whatever. Just, you know, let me know if you need me, whatever. I'm like, okay. So I leave and go over there. And I'm like, dang, then what if they're not here? But I see their cars in the driveway or whatever. And so... I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna just go directly and knock on the door. I kind of want to creep around on the side of the complex where I last saw him talking to some girl. I don't know y'all, that into it, it just kicked in. So I creep up on the other side and lo and behold, I see Savage like with his arms around some other girl. I was like, oh wow. So I run up on their ass. I was like, oh, so this what the fuck you trying to do? So this what you been doing? So this is why you haven't been answering my call? Yeah, going the hell off. Pretty much embarrassing the hell out of myself because you should never let somebody see you in a space like that. Like you should never let nobody get you to the point where they see you broken. I would never let a man see me broken ever again in my life. All the times I've gone through situations with people and I've put myself in spaces to where they see me down like that. I mean, it's like feral to a narcissistic man. <laughs> narcissistic man. That's how I feel. But anyway, so yeah, fast forward. He's like, Com calm down, calm down. It ain't nothing like that. Um, I would just, you know, console her about. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't care what the hell it's about. The fact that you have been ignoring me. You ain't you ain't reached out to me half of the day for two days. Then I ain't like you. I was like, so what? You got something going on with the neighbor? Because it turned out this was their neighbor. Like the girl didn't even stay around the corner. This is like their next door neighbor. And I guess she would she knew that I would be over there. So they would link up on the side of the building. I'm like, you don't even have the decency or the respect to go do that shit far away from over here. It's like, you a bold ass nigga. You don't do that shit right here where you know I can possibly walk out and see you. You, I'm like, you know, it'd be times where I just be walking around a little bit, getting fresh air. That's just what I do. You know, especially when I used to be over there, they had like this big lake and stuff around there. So I used to just walk around. It's like, he had no respect for me. And yes, I know what you're saying. Like, I still talk to him and went to college. Yes, because... Some stuff happened and him and that girl, like, I guess they had stopped talking at some point. But yeah, so, so, y'all, like, I, like, broke up with him in that moment. <laughs> this is the first time we had broke up. 
if it wasn't a long break, like it probably was maybe a month. And he had been calling me that entire month. Like, I'm finna come by. I was like, don't you know? I was saying to my folks. I was like, don't you pop up over here. I'm gonna call the police. I kept threatening him with the police, y'all, early on. Like, don't come up over here. Because I was still, like, I was still very mad. I was hurt. I felt so disrespected. Like, you had the audacity to do that to me. Okay. All right. So like I said, we were broken up for a month. Him and the girl, I don't think they, they they slept together at that point. But it was the fact that you were still cheating blatantly under my nose. I feel like that's a form of cheating. You are you giving your... Like you having some type of emotional tie with another woman. Whatever it is y'all discussing, y'all having some type of bond. The bond that me and you had. Now it's like you sharing it with somebody else regardless of whatever it may be. And I don't know. They may have had sex. But I don't think at that moment yet. Because like I said, the girl was a neighbor. She was new over there. She had like a, a child, a bitty baby. So I guess they was getting to know each other. Whatever. And he could have done anything in that month. So anyway, he's begging me back. He's begging me back. And this is around the time where I was about to get ready to go to college anyway. It was only an hour away from Memphis. So yeah, it didn't matter. So yeah, we started kind of early and I had been going and like I said, we had many things over time. Then eventually the following semester, I ended up going to TSU. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be at this school. I want to go be where my sister was because my sister attended there. And that's the original where I wanted to go anyway. I think I wanted to start at this college in Jackson, Tennessee, which was lame because you know, it was a Christian college and I had some friends from high school there. It was close to home. I had my reasons. Of course, it was close to him. But I had those reasons, but I felt like those reasons wasn't for me. I felt like it was for me to please other people. And honestly, these people that I was trying to be around, I needed to leave them where they were. Not saying they were just real bad and toxic, but in order for, I feel like in order for you to just really grow and to just really step out there and really be on your own, and you know just it so much comes with being away from home like that even if it is just college it's you 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 grow so much during those times you gain so many different types of life experiences so yes i feel like that was the best move that i could have made and of course you know he was happy i was in school he was like i got me a smart ass woman doing her thing yeah, da, 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 da. you know he was on his entrepreneur shit so he of course he wasn't in school he you know he was cutting hair and all that shit at the time. But yeah, so and he was making some money, so he was doing his thing. And you know, he he's very talented. Like even to this day, he is so skilled at so many things that he has his own little business thing going on. But yeah, so anyway, like I said, <laughs> that happens or whatever. Supposedly they wasn't talking anymore. I'm going off to school. I'm, I mean, at this point, I'm going off to TSU. And, of course, you know, he's supposedly sad. But I really honestly feel like during this time is when he was with that girl. I know during this time he was, like, trying to do all this with me. Acting like he's feeling away. But he secretly started back hooking up this girl. And, honestly, he might not have been hooking up with her in the first half of my years at this TSU. He probably eventually started because of the time frame of another situation. Okay, y'all, yeah, my camera had died or whatever. So, like I said, this was, yeah, I was away at school or whatever. And, like I said, I believe they end up getting back together. I know they got back together and another situation had came up. But, I'm going to stop this video right here. Y'all going to have to tune in for the other half of this video. Like I said, this is the Savage Series. So, I'm going to be doing different parts to this series. I don't want to make these videos too long because I don't want to lose y'all. I want to keep y'all engaged. Just keep y'all coming back for more because, baby, we went through a lot. We went through hell and back. <laughs> it was some tears shed, some fists thrown, and yeah, some stalking done, all kinds of crazy shit. But yeah, I'm going to stop this right here, you guys. If you enjoyed the pieces of this video, <laughs> because I know it's short, 
but if you enjoyed anything in this video y'all please give this video a thumbs up please leave a comment down below it is greatly appreciated i love the, the, the people that are starting to interact and leave comments on my videos it is greatly appreciated y'all and again if you haven't subscribed i'm hoping that one day you find something that resonates with you whether it's a story time a travel video or something lifestyle wise that makes you want to subscribe to this channel y'all and again i will see you all in my next video bye